Welcome to Last Week Tonight. I am John Oliver. Thank you for being with us. Lots to get through. A quick recap of the week. Uh, if you are watching this show in eastern Ukraine, or as it may be called by the time that this show airs, <laughs> Western Russia, then <laughs> please don't worry. Yes, Vladimir Putin is seizing some of your towns like their Super Bowl rings, but <laughs> rest assured, the international community is behind you. If Russia continues on its current course, we have a range of tools at our disposal, including sanctions that would target certain sectors of the Russian economy. Huh? <laughs> sanctions. You're welcome, Ukraine. Everything's going to be fine. That's kind of our go-to move now. We impose sanctions the way that Pizza Hut crams mozzarella into every crevice of a pizza crust. It's kind of what we do when we are completely out of ideas. Unfortunately, this week also showed how little regard Vladimir Putin has for sanctions. Sure. The New York Times is reporting this morning that U.S. sanctions over Ukraine are having a limited impact on Russia as Vladimir Putin demands Ukrainian troops withdraw from the southeastern part of the country. You know, it's not a really good sign when Vladimir Putin tells you to withdraw troops from your own country. Okay, that is true. <laughs> but to be fair, it's also not a good sign when Vladimir Putin tells you anything. If Vladimir Putin leans in to whisper something in your ear, your best case scenario is that he's going to bite your ear off. That's the best thing that could happen to you in that particular circumstance. Now, Ukraine would have been the talk of the town in Washington all this week if they hadn't spent the whole last seven days party planning for last night. The White House Correspondents' Dinner, lovingly called Nerd Prom. We call it the Nerd Prom. Nerd Prom. This weekend. <laughs> Nerd prom. Hey. Amazingly, it's actually even worse than it sounds. It is a alarming display of coziness where you can see such majestic sights as National Security Advisor Susan Rice asking for an autograph from the guy from Duck Dynasty. <laughs> Both of them could justifiably look the other one in the eyes and say, What the fuck are you doing here? And they'd both be right. It's a night when journalists celebrate their independence by hanging out with their sources and celebrate their importance by utterly ignoring one another in favour of Hollywood stars. In fact, the main purpose of the evening seems to be providing photos of glamorous celebrities completely unaware of who they are standing next to. <laughs> with, she has no idea, with the person in question actually usually being Wolf Blitzer. Can I be in the photo? Can I be in your photo? <laughs> surely, surely this wasn't what the founders of the Correspondents Association had in mind 100 years ago. In fact, let's take a look at their original charter. I wish I could show you all that charter, because it's our most prized artifact. <laughs> well, I wish you could show it to me too, then. If you're wondering why he's referring to the Charter in the conditional sense, it's because during the renovation of the White House press room, the Correspondents Association handed over their Charter for safekeeping and, well... When they cut the ribbon, the White House had lost our Charter. Oh, well. You weren't really using it anyway. Perhaps you could just replace it with a framed photo of Wolf Blitzer with Sofia Vergara. And now, this. 